waiting for a couple more people, okay? Okay. Yeah, so we'll get started in a little bit. Just hang tight. We'll see if some other people join us. Do we need anything else than the supplies? Um, the only thing you may want is a pair of scissors, but you don't have to. Um, that's probably it. Do you guys chop? Do you do get envelopes, markers, a glue stick? Yeah. Okay. And little foam pieces. Yeah. So you may maybe some scissors. That's probably it. Or if you would prefer like a glue bottle, you can use that instead of the glue stick. But it doesn't matter. A glue stick is fine. <laughs> We will see. Whoa, <laughs> it's like confetti. <laughs> yeah, we'll just wait a little bit and see who else comes on. It looks like we got like five minutes or so. We'll wait and then um, get started. What else did you guys get in your kits this month? What activity? Yeah, you got the envelope stuff, and those are little popsicle sticks. Nice. Okay. The dogs are running in the back. What are you guys doing today? Anything fun? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Uh, me and my mom are going to have a day, and no one and Dad is going to have a day. You're going to what? We're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to, me and my dad are going to, um, do something special, and then Sienna and her mom are going to do something special. Oh, that sounds so nice. Do you know what you're doing yet, or is it a surprise? I don't, I may know what I'm doing. I think I, I get shoes. I, I bet I don't know what I'm going to pick. Okay. Well, that's very exciting. I hope you guys have a good day. How about you? You got anything special plans? Ah, uh, good question. I don't know. I <laughs> Envelope towns. Envelope towns. Let's see. I see another family's on. They're not visible yet. Hopefully it's working for everyone. A couple more minutes. <laughs> now you have an envelope face. You're smiling though. That's good. There you guys are. Hey. Good morning. We're gonna wait just a couple more minutes, okay, to see if anybody else joins on and then we'll get started. 
Um, so Gianna and Mina, I, I don't know if you heard this earlier, but one thing that you may want to use in addition to your materials is just a pair of scissors. Um, so if you, did you hear that? Okay, cool. Good, good. Okay. Well, I guess it's 10, so maybe we can get started here. Okay. Does everybody have all their supplies? Yeah? All right, cool. Any announcements? Any questions? Are we good? Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Today we're gonna make envelope towns or envelope cities. And so you should have received maybe a bunch of different color envelopes in your package. They're all about the same size. Yeah, so we're gonna use these to make our houses and buildings. So I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but to me, when I open this envelope, it kind of looks like a house, right? And if you fold the flap in, it might look like a, the shape or outline of a building in a city or this way even. So these shapes are pretty nice to start off a town. So we're going to use this as our inspiration for making our envelope um, towns and cities, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is you probably want to have your plain piece of paper just set it down on your table or surface, whatever you're working on. And to start, we're just going to play around with some layout ideas. So like I said, you may want to use the house shape like this with the envelope flap up. You may want to cut that part off or just fold it in and use like rectangular shapes this way or this way. And we're going to start setting the design. You don't have to glue yet but just kind of see how you might wanna lay out your city or your town, right? And you may use, you don't have to use all of them if you don't want to. You may just wanna use a couple and that's fine, or you can like connect them together. Sometimes it's fun to do like layering in the background too. So there's some in the back and some um up front so you might even see like here's a way to layer right back here like that there's lots of different options so kind of it play around with your shapes and see how you might want to lay out your building design maybe you want houses stacking maybe you just want a couple buildings and that's fine and you can even cut these smaller if you want, right? So you might cut the top off of one like this. So I'll show you. If you open the flap and you just want a rectangle, you might just cut along this line here and then you just have a rectangle shape and no extra flap, right? So now I just have a rectangle. And I can even cut it smaller if I want a few little pieces. Okay, so you might cut even more, like I can cut a couple here. Maybe I'll leave this one alone. Okay, so explore some different shape options and see what you might want to do here. And again, the idea is to make a little city or town. So a few different buildings together. They might be houses or they might be city buildings or a farmhouse or a castle, whatever you want it to be. Might cut this one too. And don't worry, once we have our layout set out, <laughs> you, you know, we'll start adding on different elements with our markers, drawing windows, doors, adding our foam shapes, We'll make it into a more town feel with our extra shape. But right now we're just playing with how we wanna lay out these different shapes on our paper. Okay. So I'm gonna try to see here what I wanna do. If I want maybe one 
kind of house down here and maybe a couple buildings like this. Might do back here, like, I don't know, different, different layouts. You can even cut the triangles off of one and add it to another. That could be interesting. So kind of explore what your different shapes are. And once you have your layout of what you want to do, then you can start gluing it down with your glue stick or if you have a glue bottle you would rather use, that's fine too. Okay, so play with your different shapes. Feel free to cut those envelopes up. It's totally fine. And like I said, you can use one, two, all of them. This is totally up to you, all right? And then we'll start gluing down on our paper. Do something like this. We hide this behind. Yeah. Okay. Cool. How's it going so far, guys? Are we getting our shapes? Okay. Awesome. Let me know if you have any questions at all. But right now, we should just be cutting up our envelopes and trying different layouts with our shapes to make our design on our paper and then gluing down. And you might find you wanna cut out. So like I cut this piece off and there's an extra flap that may get in the way when I glue. So I might just wanna cut that off and that's fine too. Nice. I see you guys, some of you started gluing down already, so that's awesome. Okay. So yeah, just start testing it out here. I'm gonna start gluing some of my pieces down. I'm outside, so you might hear some birds chirping in the background. Looking good. Okay. Lay it right down. And remember, if you have ones you're layering behind your bottom pieces, you might want to glue those down a little bit first before you set the other one on top. OK. 
Pass those down good. All right, hey, that's super cute. I like how you change the color of the roof. You mix and match, nice, awesome. Yeah, so play with the colors. It can be really fun. Your city can be super colorful. You can use all the same color, whatever works. I like that idea of switching the color of the roofs though. I might try that on one. <laughs> you inspired me. All right. These. These are going to look awesome. Very cute. <laughs> These colors are nice and bright, which makes it really fun. So I know maybe not all the houses that we see every day are this colorful, but these are our own town, so we can make them however we want. Oh, it looks like Riley's joining somewhere. Okay. Here. And you can layer pieces, guys. So if you glue one piece down and you want to add another layer on top, yeah, kind of like that, right? Like you can put another section right on top to add a different layer because sometimes buildings do have multiple floors or multiple layers to them. Awesome. And eventually we'll add some more design with our markers and foam pieces if you want. Yeah, those are the foam pieces. So if you wanna add those, whenever you're ready, no rush. You can draw on your houses that and buildings that you put or also use foam shapes. So like this square might be a window, right? That looks great. Nice, yeah, exactly. So I see some of you are already starting to do that. You can draw windows and doors or other shapes, whatever goes on your buildings or houses. Or you can use these, so these squares might be windows, there's hearts, there's triangles, so you can add those to your buildings to add some dimension and some decoration to them, okay? So just play around with that. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> Look at that silly face. <laughs> You guys are working much faster than me. I gotta add, I might add um, another roof here. That could be cool. Maybe I'll put this one on top. Or no, maybe I'll do it here like that. Like 
this, press it down good. This is what I got so far. I gotta add some more roots. Okay. cute <laughs> I saw some hearts thank you yeah these are looking awesome guys I can't wait to see the finished pieces but they're already looking amazing so I'm sure they'll be very great okay let's see what else we have here I do I'm gonna do Maybe a triangle up here. A little too big. Maybe this one. Okay. All right, layering happening. I might start adding my designs and shapes like you guys have started to catch up. So let's see. Oh, nice. Look at the little door. Are those handles on there? <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I did like a little circle one as a handle, then I did like two bigger of the like squares and then I did small little ones. Nice, that's a cute idea. Yeah, the lit there's some really tiny shapes in there too. I think I have like a little circle and square. I might do the same thing. You can make like a doorknob or something here. These are cute. And you can also just draw with your markers, guys, if you wanna just add in some design, you can do it that way also. I'm gonna put, let's see here. I don't know what. Maybe I'll draw like door here. Add that on. Has anybody used envelopes to make art before? No. <laughs> yeah. Can we use the craft sticks that we got to decorate our houses too? Oh yeah. So I, you can either make, you could even make those into like people for your houses um, or it could turn into, um, I don't know, some other decorative thing. Add some three dimension to your house. Oh, hey, look at that. So what's all on that house? Is it, it, there's like some flags up top, it looks like? Is it a castle? So it's the castle. Castle, it has right. a bridge and a doorknob and a bell. <laughs> that is awesome. So you went with the castle, yeah. I can see that. So these can turn into so many different things, right? Your city or town doesn't have to be just like a neighborhood of houses. It can be 
more urban. It can be like a castle and some faraway land, whatever you, whatever you feel. I love all the different colors together though. Okay. I'm going to make some heart windows. I have a few heart shapes here. Okay. Yeah, so you guys can use, you know, if you have envelopes at home, you can even do the same thing. We don't always think about them for our art projects, but we can use all kinds of materials. Okay, nice. We got some things happening here. <laughs> My add decoration. <laughs> right. Let's see. There's so much you can do with these. This. Oh, nice. Yeah, check that out. That's awesome. I like how you drew all those little windows in there. That looks great too, Mina. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So guys too, you can even add something different in your background. So like I have some white space. Yeah, it looks like you put some little decorative pieces in your background too, right? So you can draw things in the back. Awesome. You can, you know, make a, a scene in the back, a sky, whatever is going on, an environment. So feel free to use that white space too for anything if you want. Let's see here. Let me add. door down here. going on here. Awesome.
Okay. Add some design here. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. These are all going to turn out really awesome. Adding in some different things. Awesome, guys. And the markers work on the foam shapes too, okay? So you can also use it on those. If you feel like coloring in. And this one I'll do All right, so we should be coming together here. I might try to add stuff in my white space now in the background. Hmm. guys are working very intently over there. Oh my goodness, look at how many windows there are. Oh my God, that's a lot. What is that building or house? It's a hotel. Oh, a hotel, nice, okay. I see you girls added in the little popsicle sticks. Awesome, yeah, it adds some different texture and dimension to it to make it more 3D. That's a cool idea. I didn't get any of those, so I might just have to draw some stuff, <laughs> draw some stuff on. But I chose some different shapes and designs too to add some texture. So you can do diagonals, bricks, windows, different shapes. And it's a nice way to make it look um, nice. Yeah, just give it some dimension and to look more. 
Very cool. All right. Ooh, there's a second one with the popsicle sticks. That looks like a whole house created out of them. All right. I heard from the Freemans. Are you girls doing anything today? No. No. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> We're on spring break all next week, so we don't really have anything to do. Oh, well, I'm jealous. <laughs> Hopefully it's nice and you can get outside and enjoy the weather. Play with your dog, all of that fun stuff. That's awesome. Okay. Just keep adding some things on. We have plenty of time, guys, so no rush. Oh, nice. Is that Riley's? Yes. Awesome. Riley, I couldn't, we couldn't see you for a little bit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, really cool. I like how you also use the popsicle sticks to add some dimension to it. It gives it more texture. Kind of looks like, you know how in a log cabin, there's like the wooden pieces, right? Or like yeah. a house. Yeah. It reminds me of that. That's awesome. Thanks for showing us. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. I don't know what I want to put in my background. What do you guys think? Clouds. Clouds? Trees. Clouds. Yeah, maybe some trees. Maybe I'll make it like woods or something like that. It's a good idea. Hi. Here. 
Everybody doing okay? Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Let's see where we're at. We got lots and lots of time. Filling things in. My dog's barking, sorry. <laughs> it's being loud. Oscar, come here. Hey, shh. I'm coloring in my windows here. Let's see what that's gonna do. Add some more color. Using those popsicle sticks is a really good idea. I think that looks really cute. Awesome. You can glue onto your hat if you want. <laughs> A foam tattoo. Okay. Send. Right, coming together here. <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait to see them all held up at the same time whenever, before we all get off, we have to hold them up. <laughs> Still going. I have some more heart shapes I might try to use here. Hmm. Nice. What does that say on the top? Lazy Town Hotel. Lazy Town. <laughs> Is that an actual place? <laughs> It's a TV show. Oh. <laughs>
That's cool. I haven't, I don't think I know that TV show. So what's Lazy Town like? Weird. Weird? <laughs> Pink hair. Everybody, oh. Everybody's actually really lazy? No. Yeah, you can name your little town or one of the buildings or houses if you want to. That's a good idea. Like, think about what would your town be called and what else would be in your town? I know we can't fit so much on our papers, but you can think about, you know, what, what else would be there? What do you do? What kind of people? Is it real or imaginary? It's all kinds of things you can do with this. Coming along. Woo. I don't know what I'd call mine. Awesome. What does yours say? Happy Town Hotel. Happy Town Hotel. Is this from the same show? No. no. <laughs> Just a different name. Awesome. I like it. I'd want to go to a happy town. Think about if there's any other details you want to add. It's endless opportunities, really. You can keep adding as much or as little as you want. Oh, awesome. You even stack the popsicle sticks on top of foam pieces. Very cool. So yours is very three-dimensional. I like it. What do you think, Riley? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Does your town have a name or anything? No. No? Yeah, I haven't thought of one either. Awesome. Thanks for letting us see your creation over there. So Riley even used pieces of the envelope paper to fill in the empty space in the backgrounds too, it looked like. Which is also a good idea. Awesome. Happy Town Hotel. Yeah, you can think of a fun name for yours. Be really cool.
see here. Looking good, guys. Has anybody finished with theirs? No. <laughs> Freemans are finished. Awesome. You want to hold yours up one more time? So we can see your finished products? Yeah. How'd they turn out? Awesome. Very cool. Guys, don't forget to take pictures of your finished pieces too and you can send them to blending hearts and that way we can share with other people all these awesome things you guys made cool happy town <laughs> they look great yeah so definitely take pictures and that way we can all see it Bye and thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks for joining us, guys. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Okay. Your special activities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you girls take your time. We have lots of time. And Riley, if you're still working, no worries. Um, we can still hang out on here for a little bit. And if you have any questions, just let me know. But I think you guys get the gist and we'll just keep adding to our pieces until we are finished for today. What do I want to put? Hmm.
What's that? <laughs> I don't really know. You don't know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just making something up. Awesome. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, the popsicle sticks is a good idea. You can even add extra stuff if you have lying around the house later on. Um, stickers, anything like that could be interesting to add. Okay. <laughs> that was a funny face. I think I'm done. Oh, awesome, Riley. So here's like a little bit of like shrubbery and I think the, I would like to think these are like planters. Yeah, and there's a little bit of walkway with these, and then there's like a big window that looks like a lightning bug. That is really awesome. I totally see the planters and the like. It looks like the shrubbery, like you said. That's such mm -hmm. a, a unique idea. That was awesome. And, and basically, all of these shapes are just heart, hearts cut in half. Nice. So, right. Yeah. You can even you know you don't have to keep the exact shape of the foam pieces, you can cut them into different, different and make new shapes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Very cool, thanks for showing us. I love seeing all of your creations. Awesome, awesome. I'm getting so many ideas from all of you because you're trying different things and then I'm like, oh, I wanna do that on mine. <laughs> Awesome. What does that say on the side? Restaurant? I can't see. I'm blind. <laughs> it's restaurant, lazy town store, shop all your needs. Awesome. <laughs> Do you have a store and a hotel on your town? What? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I think I just went with houses and buildings. I don't know. But it could be a store. <laughs> Are you coloring on the popsicle sticks? Yeah. Nice. That's a good idea too. Add some color to it. Instead of paint, you can use marker. Since that's what we've got today. Hmm. <laughs> 
Nice. I love how much stuff you guys are adding to yours. Just makes it so colorful. So cute. You added some stuff in the background. Awesome. I'm loving these. We're going to leave the call and we're going to keep working. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for joining, guys. Bye. Right. See you next time. See your spring break. Happy Easter. Yeah, you too. Thanks. All right. See you guys. Riley, are you finished or are you still hanging out? I think I'm done. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for joining us today, okay? Hope you had okay. a good time and hopefully we can see you next time, okay? Okay. All righty. Have a good rest of your weekend. You too. Thank you. All right. Bye.